Hey everyone, I've got a different sort of video today. As you probably know, I often try to improve communications between companies in China and consumers in the West, explain what's going on, clear out misunderstandings, at least when I can. Sometimes there is no misunderstanding. Sometimes people and companies are just acting in bad faith, and bad faith is what happened to Sion. You may have seen his YouTube channel, The Unexpected Maker. He ordered a very, very expensive product from China, 17,000 Australian dollars for a plug and place machine from a company called Chamhai. What they sent him simply does not do what they said it would. Hey everyone, this is going to be a shorter recap of my live stream from a few days ago where I went in depth about the fiasco of my new pick and place machine from Charm High and the uh, piece of crap that it is and their inability to take any responsibility for anything to do with this machine. Uh, take my money and you're on your own. So this is the machine. It's the Charm High T560 P4. So what's the problem with the machine? Well, the problem is that it uses compressed air system that fires the pneumatics within these feeders. They're pneumatic feeders, not electric feeders. So when the air fires, the shutter of a feeder opens and exposes a part. So all it's doing is opening the shutter so the head can pick the part. So when the machine tells it to open the shutter, the part flies out or the part flips upside down or the part goes sideways. And that happens pretty much every single time. Not a really accurate pick and place machine when the parts that you're putting down are sideways or upside down. So apparently this is a known issue with Charm High. Now Charm High know that this is an issue, but nothing was said to me, not before I bought it. I'm not an expert with pick and place machines, but I have friends who are, and I had them watch Sion's video and check the product specifications, and they were outraged. There's no way it was doing what they said it would. Are there dishonest Chinese companies? <laughs> of course, do a lot of Chinese companies sell dodgy hardware? You know the answer to that as well as I do. But, and it's a big but. This has become a lot less common the past few years, and almost every Chinese engineer I know hates people who do this. Low cost, sure, that's our game, but cheating people with hardware that flag out does not work, it's not okay. Believe it or not, the penalties here have gotten more serious every year because this hurts all Chinese business. There are now special courts to deal with overseas for like this, and I'm going to try and help Sion do that. But I'm really embarrassed that someone in the maker community was cheated out of such a huge sum of money. So the least I can do is signal boost his video, hope that Charm High will find this money, and pays for the return of the machine. Charm High, Chang Hong Ji Dian, Diu Lian Diu Dao Jia Le. Because of your unfairness, the importation of foreign products has caused a bad impression on Chinese companies. In the pandemic, we have forgotten to blame the big guys. 此时我们需要对外展示的是，我们比其他人有更好的诚信度。你的垃圾产品传出去，降低了中国产品的等级，导致了好的事情做了也是功亏一篑。Please check out Sion's video in the description box for detailed explanation of all of the problems this machine has. And of course, if you need a pick and place machine, I strongly suggest you buy something other than Shanghai. Again, I'm very sorry. This is a lot of money, and we really are trying to do better than this. I will do my best to find a way to help Sion, and I hope you will also help by getting the word out so the same thing does not happen to others. Thank you.